The food vlog, the food vlog is back. Every Centenario got a custom box of chocolates. We got the Cepheus Blue chocolates over here on the left. We got our carbon fiber assortment right there. Dun dun dun. Let's go, baby. And a gold wing. To a centenario. A successful Chinese fire drill right there. Nice. There she is. There she is. On cue. On cue. Why not? Why not one more time? The Centenario, it combines the best of the Aventador and the Huracan. The buildup of that V12 is Aventador, but then you get the backfiring of the Huracan multiplied by about a hundred times. It's just this thunderous boom. Centenario! Centenario! As always, it is not Centenario, it is Centenario. Thank you. This is like deja vu all over again. Rolling through Southern California in a blue Cephas Centenario. This color is sensational. The direct sunlight is stunning. Just look at the flakes in that blue Cephas paint. Wow, what do you guys think? Do you like this Centenario more or Dan's, the uh, full exposed carbon Centenario? Now my friend Dan, his Centenario was 2.5 million and that's because it had the full exposed carbon body. That's a $250,000 option. This one has the exposed carbon hardtop, the mirrors, as well as the engine cover. That's a $25,000 option. So this runs for around $2.3 million. He's gonna pull in front of the Centenario. Centenario just got pulled over for excessive revving by the Beverly Hills Police Department. As you can see, it's causing just slightly a scene here in the hills. Okay, so the good news is no ticket. The officer said that we were being dangerous exhibition by revving. Of speed. By an exhibition of speed by uh, revving. I think just this car parked is an exhibition of speed, just because of the way it looks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. You look like you're going 200 miles an hour all the time. We are slightly taking over the Rodeo Concourse. Our apologies. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the Centenario probably gets about five miles to the gallon. Especially because it's so much fun to run it in first gear and just let off the throttle and get those backfires. Is there a, oh, there you go. Oh, look at that gas cap. I'm sorry, Brad. That is such a cool oh. gas cap. Go for it. Oh, yeah. So the gas cap on my Gallardo is $800 to replace. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. I love the blue Cephas accents here on the interior. The carbon back seats. Should I get the car one? <laughs> Should I get the 
In the event that the battery dies, this piece will actually pop off and there's a keyhole you can use to open and close the doors. This carbon side skirt, I think that is such a cool, cool detail. Of course, the LP770-4, this is the most powerful production Lamborghini ever built. I love the intricate design of the headlights as well. Definitely one of the coolest features. Now to open up the front, you just pull that, and then we'll walk around. Not feeling, I'm not feeling very optimistic. You know what, that, that bar is there. That bar is there so that a child can't get in. That's a US safety regulation. It would appear that the backpack isn't gonna fit in the Centenario. Oh well, you got your cigarette lighter right here as well. Who knew? Pretty practical. Windshield washer fluid, you fill that up right there. You got the blue Cephas leather, the Alcantara, the stitching. But check out this little feature. You could put a child seat in the Centenario. What? This button, this actuates the rear wing, parking brake of course, the different driving modes like the Aventador Strada, Sport, and Corsa. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. What's going on? This is Hawaii Brad. Of course, you know the Strad man. Well, I kind of jacked his camera, so I know he's ridden in dance. But have you ever driven one? Dude. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Let's I, go, baby. No. Let's do it. Really? Come on. What? Seriously? Yeah. No, no, no. For real. For real. Your turn. All right. This is it. <laughs> I'm driving the Centenario. What? Dude, oh my goodness. I'm trying to contain my emotions right now because my heart is pounding about a thousand beats per second right now. I'm sitting behind the wheel of a two and a half million dollar Centenario. What? This car only has 179 miles on it. Can I wrap it up real quick? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can feel that four wheel steering totally. Down, down shift and hit it. Driving. No, no, if you insist. You sure, if you insist, if you insist. Okay. Alright, and just like that, I'm back in the driver's seat. <laughs> this is so crazy. How fast do you get up to on that last one? I'm not sure. I, I, I was so focused on the road, I couldn't even it's look. Probably good. <laughs> the camera forward on you, jeez. <laughs> Put it in course, you see what that's like? Sure. <laughs> that is insane. I can't believe I just drove this car. My goodness. Whew. This car is literally worth more than my entire life by about 10 times. So, thankfully, she's still back in one piece. What an experience, though. Man, what? Oh, 
it is time to say goodbye to the Centenario. First, I have to grab my backpack. This backpack has found itself in two Centenarios, just chilling. Lamborghini has blown it out of the park. This car is just starting to grow and grow on me so much more from a design standpoint. And this blue Cepheus, oh, it is literally the perfect spec for this car. This car is actually gonna be headed to Maui later in the fall. I mean, does it get any better than that? Cruising in a Centenario in Hawaii? I don't think so. <sighs> you beautiful, beautiful car. But, uh, well, now I'm gonna drive the Huracan back. We are back with the Versa, baby. What separates the Versa really is that low end torque. I gotta tell you guys. What an unforgettable day though. Driving the Centenario bucket list. I didn't even know that, that wasn't even on the bucket list. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you. It was great talking with you on the phone today. Can't wait to see you here in just a couple weeks. Like squad, like squad, where are you at? Where are you at? If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like. But just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.